Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Clifford Penn Flamingo Power Wash. Back with another video for you guys today. I'm gonna be doing a GF metering valve setup. Uh, I'm tired of batch mixing and you know, run out of SH on these roofs. So, you know, I had to go ahead and get me one of these. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it together myself. Um, I'm gonna have all the parts that I'm using on the, uh, in the description. Everything pretty much came from Amazon, except for the um, metering valves. I got those off of um, Zorro.com. Uh, one of my subscribers, I'm saying good friend of mine, he sent me the uh, coupon code for like 30% off. So I saved a lot of money on those. And pretty much you can search online on the um, for their coupons and you might find like 20, maybe 25% or even the 30. So um, yeah, man, it's pretty easy to do. Um, just follow along, you know what I'm saying? If you ever want to do one yourself, you know, you're tired of batch mixing and you don't want to pay so much, you know, for one that's already built, that way you know, you know, how everything goes together. If you have a leak or, you know, any issues, you can, you know what I'm saying, diagnose what you got. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and set it up, set the camera up and put this thing together. All right guys, so this is pretty much what we're gonna be using. All these little parts here, it's not so many of them. Um, I'm gonna have all these in the description. So basically, you just got you got your half inch T, and also you're gonna be using this True Blue. Can't even tell it's True Blue anymore, but that's what it is. I had it for a while. Uh, instead of using the thread tape, I'm gonna be using the True Blue on these. Um, you got your half inch T, um, followed by your elbows half inch elbows you got check valves over here three check valves you got you six nipples you got you uh this is your outlet um elbow right here that goes to your pump you got these two right here which is for your soap and your um your water your half inch barbs and then this quarter inch on um, one right here is for your um your soap and of course the metering valves uh you gotta do these by hand pretty much or you'll crack them <laughs> so i'm not trying to do that definitely gonna try to be careful doing this here um like i say i'm gonna have all these in the description and also the uh, amounts that you need for each one the quantities and also i'm gonna put in the the pen tear link for these also. I'm not making no money off of these, man. There's just links online. Anybody can find them. So, uh, yeah, man, I just want to put this together. You know what I'm saying a little fun project. I got some um, roofs coming up for the weekend, and um, I just want to get this together so I'm able to carry more SH and not run out. All right, guys, so you're going to start with your T at first. I probably shouldn't be doing this on here. Put something down. Let me get my furniture all dirty, but put you some true blue on the nipples. Don't get like go too crazy. Put your elbow right here. So just take your time, just hand tighten. Boom, right here. All right, next, you're gonna be doing your, uh, you can do your, of course, you can put this one here at the bottom. Now, if you want it, you know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, depends on your orientation of your pump. You could either use uh, 90 or you could use a straight. I got both. I didn't know which one I was gonna need. Um, 
I think I'm gonna end up needing this one here. Just go, so I don't kink the holes when I put the hole. If I put the holes in the, on the straight bar, it might kink it. And so I don't wanna do that. Next, you're gonna be doing your, your metering valve. Um, you can't put them all, I mean, you could put them all next to each other. Um, some people put it one, like, you know, up and down. You put your SH up, um, and down, your soap, I mean, your, uh, yeah, your soap in the middle up, and then your water down, you know, just to give it that, give it that look. So um, I think that's the look I'm gonna go with. All right, so next one is your, your valve on these GF valves. Um, take this off. They have a little arrow pointing down on these. I don't know if you guys can see a little arrow pointing down. That's how you know which way it goes. All right, so. And also these, they come in the box, you have a threaded one and you have one that's like a slip that you can, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna use that one, obviously, so. so these come off, you know what I'm saying? That's a good thing about these two, you don't have to take them all the way off if you need to tighten it, you know what I'm saying? You can just do the collar. But, um, that's how they go in, so you just, Some people use um, the tape, the um, that blue monster. Nothing wrong with that at all. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that at all. Whichever one you want to use, but I like to use the true blue. I mean, you could use both actually. You could use the blue monster and this on top probably. So tighten this up. Putting the arrow down. Got one here. So your next one is going to be another nipple. check valve uh, these check valves they have an arrow on them I don't know if you guys can see the arrow but the arrow has to be pointing down when you put your check valves in pretty sure there's other ways of installing these I'm not trying to outdo anybody man it's my first time doing this so Here you're gonna be doing your your barb over here on this tone on this one here. Sorry, I don't have a nice little shop, <laughs> a little shop table for y'all. I ain't make it to the big leagues yet. <laughs> Boom, one side done. Move on to the other side. Like I said, you can do your uh, S, uh, your soap in the middle. So the soap in the middle, you can't do it that way. So what you'll do is, instead of putting it right on here, you put your, um, your nipple in first.
you're gonna put your instead of doing your check valve up here, like I say, where's that arrow down? Yeah, get it, get it, get it arrow at. Arrow down. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your arrow pointing down. You put that in first instead of at the top. So you know which way it's going. So you want to go arrow down. I just do it like this because I find it easier. Um, I'm not sure that's how you were supposed to be, be doing it, but um, it's easier for me to tighten this onto the uh, to the nipple. But it spins so much when it's in, in the metering valve. Put your metering valve on. See, see if you try to twist it, it's gonna hit. I mean, you can take the, you can take this off too. You know what I'm saying, It'll be the same thing. It all goes back together, so it doesn't matter. It just preference for me to hold it and just twist it like this is better for me. bar I was gonna do a half inch on this one too that's why I got an extra one but I was told it's gonna pull too much soap so this is better I'll do the same thing we did over here put your metering valve on metering valve in first Alright guys, so I've mounted my metering valve onto this plate. Got a couple of screws on it. Just three for now and it's very sturdy man. Um I mean this thing is it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. Um now I have to mount it on the van. So you know I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it tonight. It's kinda it's kinda late. But um, I'll try to get some footage for you guys, but this is basically how you do this uh, GF valve, uh, metering valve setup, man. It's a quick little video for you guys. I think it looks pretty good, man. I can't wait to use it. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.